So I'm right in the middle of another build and I thought I'd just take a uh, second to shoot a little video and explain a little bit about uh, when it comes to the wiring. Um, this is a three zone system for baseboards and it's utilizing a Navian um, 240-110 uh, combi which will provide domestic hot water which comes out of these valves here. There's a lot of videos I've posted explaining how all this piping works so maybe jump over to one of those videos if you want to know how the uh, actual piping layout works and all the valves and whatnot. This one I'm just going to touch a little bit on the wiring so what I do when I get to this point uh, once all the piping's done and everything's pressed and everything's secured down I got to run uh, power to each circulator and hook it up to the corresponding zone on the circuit board here. So basically how it works is I use these quick easy snap connectors that work for MC wire. Makes it look really nice and, and neat and tidy. Um, I get those hooked up and I run one zone at a time. I usually start with my highest zone which is right now zone 3 we're considering it at the very top here. So we'll go ahead and tie that in with this with this 14-2 uh, MC wire. 14 gauge is extreme overkill for what these circulators really require. I mean, these only draw an amp. So, I mean, it's it's obviously overkill, but we like to use something really durable, really sort of give it that industrial look. Um, you could run very thin wire, but I mean, it's just, to me, it's just not how I do things. I want it to be very tidy, neat, and pretty much last as long, if not longer, than what the boiler itself or pumps are even capable of. So if you ever go to swap out these, swap out any other components, everything that I build I want to last as long as absolutely possible. So you could do these even in a flexible uh, conduit, or I've even seen them done in, in rigid like steel conduit. That seems a little extreme, and it's, it's a lot harder to, to route everything. It makes it a pain if you ever got to change a circulator. So uh, what I'll do is once I get those tied in, I actually I'm going to install the sensor that will be used for the, that's right over here. This is the system sensor. This tells the boiler that uh, what the actual temperature is in the secondary um, piping that is going out to the heat emitter. So what we'll do is we'll basically strap this onto the feed right here the supply and we zip tie that on and then I always wrap it with some self uh, sealing silicone tape just to give it some sort of an insulating factor and as well just give it make it real nice secure and and uh, you know an additional adhesion to that pipe other than just the zip ties but the zip ties alone work really well it'll radiate the heat right into this sensor uh, on its own so we'll just tuck this wiring I like to hide it down behind here just to give it a little better look and pretty much attach it right to these wires and that'll feed in to one of these connections here and gets tied in over here to the uh, supply uh, what is it name on here it's called the supply temperature sensor so there's actually two little pins for it right there so I always do that with all my systems most HVAC installers that I see and I go to inspect some of these systems they pretty much 99.9% .9 of the time do not use this sensor to me it's silly not to. Um, it's not an expensive add-on by any means. Uh, for all my systems, I include it. Uh, I don't upcharge for any of that because to me, it's it sort of just should be on every system. So um, we go ahead and install that, and that'll pretty much wrap up the wiring. Um, usually, the customer will be required to run their thermostats themselves into the circuit board here. Um, what I've done sometimes is actually provided a terminal block outside of, mounted on this board and I label the thermostat input so that you don't even ever have to open this up or go in there. Um, so if you're, you know, if you don't, if you aren't comfortable doing that sort of thing, I'll bring it right out to a terminal block for you and you could just terminate them right there. Um, so that video is just kind of about showing you guys the wiring aspects of this. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. It definitely goes a long way. Subscribe if you haven't already. We have tons of videos on this stuff. Go ahead and check out um, a bunch of the builds we've done. And if you have any questions at all, or if you want a system designed for you, or any consulting on your own build, uh, just contact me. I'll put my contact info below in the description. And we'll see you guys on the next one.